Do you see here? Hi guys and gals. Well, it's going to be a whiskey vlog. Yeah, so we're in the uh, whiskey wine cellar and let's see what we're going to be tasting today. Well, the last time I was in Canada, uh, at the duty free, I got this John K. Hall from the 40 Creek Double Barrel Reserve. Now, I've heard a lot of John K. Hall from Food Quick. So that is Andy, other people know him as Mequig or Fequig. And uh, he's always had great things to say about this. So we're going to see what it has to, s to deliver. So here's our bottle. Yes siree, Forty Creek. It's nice, it's got this little, yeah, how could I say this little Forty Creek metal logo. And it's nice. And it has even a lot number. It's 40% alcohol, which is a little bit weak, but I guess for Canadian whiskeys, that is the case. It's got a bottle number, and it's a 750 milliliter bottle, which is different to what I usually get here in Switzerland, because uh, whiskeys are usually with 700 milliliter bottles. So, let's see if it pops. Well, that's pretty decent. It's a plastic cork. That's a elongated bottle. Holds well in the hand, but let's see. Tuk, 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 tuk. Okay. Have a little dram here. Close that in case there'd be any little any little accidents. So what do they say, before I go on, a few years ago I had the opportunity to purchase some outstanding bourbon barrels from Kentucky. These, bur these barrels are excellent for aging whiskeys because they're seasoned. That means most of the fresh harsh oak tannins have been removed and what remains is all the good stuff. Does that mean actually that the people that drink the, uh, the the whiskey, the Kentucky whiskey, have all the bad stuff? Anyway, so he goes on and says there should be the softer oak tannins, wood, vanilla, sugar, and the toasty, smoky, spicy aromas, as well as the caramelized flavors from the heavy charring from inside the barrel. So I'll, I'll I won't read the rest, but let me see, I'm going to bend down a little bit, otherwise won't see me. Oh yeah, well, you can immediately see there's some vanilla. There might be some nutty flavor there. A bit of corn, possibly. Anyway, there's some sweet notes to it. Okay. Let me cheat. What are the tasting notes? Wonderful aroma. Roasted aroma. Yeah, okay. Deep vanilla and high, toasted spice. Oh, that is might be what it... Yeah, some kind of toasted thing. I was... Yeah, I thought it was maybe the nuts. But I find that's maybe that what they call a roasted aroma. You know, we use different words very often. Or sometimes we don't know the words. They talk about pecan and walnuts. Yeah, that could be the nut thing. I don't know about the pecans. Well, yeah, maybe more pecans than walnuts, actually. Okay, the caramelized, that was the, the kind of sweet aroma, maybe. Hmm. Okay, let's go. I'm really not as elaborate as, as food quick, so... If you really want to watch a, a good tasting video, you should go watch his. But, hmm. Oh my, that's nice. There's that, <clears throat> that nutty flavor. That's really nice. If you like nuts, it comes out very much so. It's not 
overpoweringly sweet, which I find sometimes with bourbons and different um, Canadian whiskeys eventually, I find them, you know, there's maybe too much corn and I don't actually appreciate that much. Maybe that's why I don't like bourbons as much as as whiskey in, uh, in uh, Ireland and Scotland. But, now having said that, now that it's opened a bit, that corn smell and taste, well I don't know about the taste, but the corn smell is coming out. There's definitely that kind of toasted aroma, which translates into taste. This is very, very nice. Uh, I had the last time, just give me a second, I'll pull it out. The last time I made a video, I had this one, which is the Crown Royal Northern Harvest rye. And as far as I'm concerned, between the two, this double barrel reserve from John K. Hall is the Forty Creek is way, way superior. But that is my own personal taste because I know that the other one received loads of prizes. So where are we going on the minutes here? Okay. So what would be my facit as the Swiss Germans would say? What my conclusion is that I find that if you would like uh, a Canadian whiskey which is not going to, I mean, bite so much as a lot of them, that has though a lot of complex flavors and tastes, you will certainly enjoy this Forty Creek whiskey double barrel reserve. Okay. It's Canadian whiskey. Cheers, everybody. Mm. And that'll be it for now. DC will be signing off. Take care. Bye-bye. Close this thing.